Father, we thank you. We thank you that nothing surprises you. Amen. You know everything. You know everyone. You know each one heart and what they are planning and what they are, will do. We thank you, Father, that the victory is yours and we can walk in that victory. That you give us wisdom through the Holy Spirit. So we thank you, Holy Spirit, for coming and guiding and directing us. We thank you that no weapon forced against us shall prosper, that we will overcome because of the blood of Jesus Christ, our testimony of Jesus in us, and we love not our life unto death, but you, O oh Lord, are our shield and guard, our high tower that we run to, our fortress that we run into for our protection and our safety. So thank you for this day. Thank you for us being your hand extended upon this earth so that we can bring your justice upon this earth in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Um, as I mentioned earlier, when I first sat down, I'm real tender this morning. And it isn't just because Robbie Weaver died, died yesterday morning at 805. But last night, I listened to Tim Sheets. And it was called What a Difference a Day Makes. Um, and as I started listening, Tim was talking. I'll, I'll play it. It's 11 minutes long, but I think it's really important. I want you to take notes because he's giving us instructions on how to pray and how to see the future. I've listened to this first portion three times and I'm going to listen to it again. But this time I'll be able to take some notes, okay? And today with the prophetic word that the Lord gave me earlier this week. Can you hear that? Let me stop it. And I wanna give it. I think I wanna play first. Hearing points of his planned operations on the earth. The very unusual uh, experience really. It was a prophecy, but I felt it was, he was teaching me through this prophetic event. So it become, it could become teaching that I would give to the remnant uh, body of Christ. And so great hope and great faith could, uh, could rise. Now there were three words that were emphasized that, that I was drawn to. And uh, I noted them as I wrote as fast as I could. The three words were planned, suddenly, and validate. Planned, suddenly, and validate. I heard the Lord say, this was Monday afternoon at 2.10 it began, February the 15th. The atmosphere in the office, I'd been, I'd seen a vision of volcanoes Volcanoes all over the world. I don't know what it meant. But I just was praying into what it would mean. And the atmosphere in the office uh, began to change. And I knew the Holy Spirit was coming to, to give me uh, a word. And he said, the new era I have planned, the new, new era I have planned will now be established in supernatural displays of my dunamis. Now we know that dunamis is the Greek word for power, that is for ability beyond the natural realm. It is the power of God that can do anything. It is power that can create, it's power that is, is miraculous. And uh, we know that the Greek word dunamis refers to dynamite that is lit and the explosion of energy, that explosion is the dunamis. So it's referring to released energy. Dunamis, the released energy of God. There will now be displays of the released energy of God, his dunamis. The new era I have planned will now be established in supernatural displays of my dunamis. Again, planned, 
It was emphasized. Holy Spirit's power will activate on the earth in greater measure and with sudden surges of Holy Spirit's mightiness. Miracles will suddenly happen. My people will experience and live in sudden breakthroughs. Long-standing battles will end in sudden victories. I have planned to release millions of sudden personal victories for my remnant to validate the new greater glory apostolic age. Again, planned was emphasized, sudden was emphasized, and validate. I will confirm it with signs, wonders, and miracles, personal breakthroughs for my faithful warriors will surge and deliver them. Breakthroughs are coming. Sudden deliverance is coming. I will validate, says the Lord, the expansion of my kingdom ecclesias on the earth with displays of my right hand of power, enabling it to see the reversal of national kingdom governments opposition and hell supernatural governments opposition. Supernatural reversals are planned and will activate, resulting in God victories for my ecclesia. My ecclesias will begin to report God victories are happening everywhere. This will be clear, visible, irrefutable validation. I will confirm what I say. Sudden surprise attacks are planned against your enemies. Planned again was emphasized. Sudden surprise attacks are planned against your enemies. Angel armies that I command have set traps that I have approved. They are springing forth in the spirit realms and in the natural realms. There are startled cries coming from demon thrones. Amen. There are cries of anguish rising from hell's fortified strongholds as my angels are implementing the surprise attacks. They were not fortified well enough says the Lord. Their resistance of me and my plans will suddenly implode as my power explodes. My angels will work the explosions with my ecclesia's decrees of governance. The Lord of hosts decrees, you are moving into the days of my power power that validates who I am and validates who my sons and daughters are. Power that validates the church that I am building. For you are moving into a new era of Pentecost that will validate the second apostolic and prophetic age. I have planned for its mighty surge, not from an upper room in Jerusalem this time, but rather from thousands of upper rooms in the nations of the world. You will see the rising of my ecclesias in all 50 states. You will see my ecclesias rise in all covenant nations. It will accelerate the power principles of my New Testament church. It will accelerate the power ministry of my heirs. And it will accelerate the powerful assistance 
of my angel armies. I have planned and have now sent angel army divisions that will assist Holy Spirit to validate the kingdom of God on the earth and draw multitudes in the valley of decision to it. My heirs will raise the rod of authority in the nations and nations will be discipled by them through Holy Spirit wisdom, power, and strategies, and through the unprecedented release of heaven's angel armies on the earth to assist them. I have moved, says the Lord of hosts, I have moved in unseen ways multiple divisions of angels into all nations and states that have my ecclesia roots in them. It is time for the unseen to be seen. It is time for the surprise. It is time for the suddenlies to erupt. For it is time for the volcanic hubs of my ecclesias to, to erupt in great power and pierce earth's atmospheres. Yes, says the Lord, what has been boiling underground. Yes, says the Lord of hosts, internal fires deep within them will erupt. Not in one place. No, in hundreds, says the Lord. My ecclesia will say, there has been a kingdom of God eruption. My glory has been churning and burning deep inside of my glorious ecclesias. It will now erupt through my kingdom ecclesias like volcanoes, penetrating and changing the earth as my fire and cloud presence hovers over them, validating the words of Messiah, their breaker. I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Hell's government will not prevail. You will see the sudden eruption of Pentecost and of fire. For you have now entered a fullness of time that I have planned. A fresh Pentecost outpouring of anointing and power is now releasing and everything in my kingdom will accelerate forward. The king's empire will expand. The king's government will expand. Authority will now be validated and demonstrated by the king's heirs. The Lord of hosts decrees. I will shift this nation back into alignment. I will shift nations back into covenant alignment. You will see the revival fires of a new Pentecost worldwide. You will see the harvest of souls I have planned for. And you will say, what a difference a day makes. Hmm. I listened to that last night and I've, I've shared it on with this group that after Haiti, I did the travail using Shine Jesus Shine and what I saw was the eruption of the volcanoes. I have never had anyone validate that vision. And when I heard Tim describe what had happened, what he saw, I began sobbing uncontrollably with the incredible gratitude in my heart that this vision that I have held to for 31 years, this April, mid-April, was coming, was here. Now, when we were at the 
Apostolic Prophetic Summit. Dan looked up at that particular church, the structure, and he leaned over to me and he said, you know, this looks like a caldera, which is the inside of a volcano. So I went up to Tim and he was very distracted. It had been such an, an intense time for him with the prophetic words and the anointings that were being released on him. And I gave him that short word. And it was like giving a word to a person who was very distracted. He thanked me, but in a distracted manner. And I just went back, you know, and I, I was like, Lord, I felt impressed to tell him this, but I don't know that he heard me. Now, when we consider, I took diligent notes this time. Last night, when I listened to this, Dan was already asleep. And I had to go wake him up. And I said, honey, would you please hold me? I am so undone. I can barely keep my flesh and my soul together. My spirit was so delighted. But it was so overwhelming. It was the validation of a vision that was given 31 years ago. It's the validation of what we're holding on to in the Grace Corps for what's coming. I don't know if you realize it, but this group is an ecclesia. We are an ecclesia from all over the world, and God's going to use us for nations, the eruption in nations. And when I saw that, those eruptions about volcanoes, and the Holy Spirit began speaking to me, he said, and it was the liquid, what was coming out of the, the volcano was liquid gold, and I knew it was the love of the Father. And he said, as this lava, as this erupts, there's going to do this, the, the lava, every hardened heart that stand, cannot stand in the presence of the fiery lava of love, the fiery love of the Father, and they'll melt and they'll come right in to the kingdom. And he also said to me, no man can take credit. Is this erupts in nations? We can't take credit because this was planned. This is going to be a suddenly, and it's going to validate the faith of the church. It's going to validate our prayers. It's going to validate everything about us. And we have waited. But think how long Israel waited for the Messiah. We have to understand, delay does not mean denial. We have to understand that we have to take that faith in God. This is God's will for the earth. And we have to take God's will for the earth and join our will with God's will. And then we stand in that place of agreement with heaven, knowing that God is going to do it. It's all planned. It's been planned from the foundations of the earth, what he was going to do in this season. It's going to be suddenly. It's just going to be sudden explosions of glory. And the body of Christ, the remnant are going to be validated. They're going to be validated. So today, I really believe we're just going to go into with great thanksgiving, and we're going to go to the court of decree, and we're going to release some decrees and with great expectation. Father, thank you so much for your words, the words that you were given through the various people that belong to you and that love you dearly and thank you for the excitement that's building and we will wait for it we will hold with a bated breath and we will stand there and just wait for it and then we will celebrate as we see you move like we have never seen you move as we will see you move like a, our generation has never seen you move. It has been years since we've seen you move like this and we are excited for this and we are so grateful that we were born in this time that we get to bear witness to this, your glorious work and your glorious showing and your drawing in of the millions towards you and we are ever grateful for the personal prayers that are coming and for the personal healing and for the healing of the world that is gonna come through this. Yeah. Father, 
there is not enough thanks that we could give you that would ever fulfill what you deserve for even just this moment in time, Father. Amen. Amen. Oh, Father, we we give you all the. I feel like we need more Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. I'm going to do Thanksgiving. Yesterday morning, I had I kept on hearing a word. It was called "Prisoners of Hope." It comes from Zechariah nine. Father, I thank you. I thank you. Our King is coming to us. Our King is coming as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He rode once on a lowly donkey, but at this time he is coming on his mighty white war horse. I thank you for the King of King is coming and that he is cutting off and exterminating the war chariots of the enemy and the battle balls are being cut off and he shall speak a word of peace, shall come to the nations and his dominion for shall be from sea to sea and from the ends of the earth to the ends of the earth. And as for us, as for us, as for his people, as for his ecclesia, for the sake of your covenant, we thank you for the sake of your covenant. The Lord with his people, which have been sealed and sprinkled with covenant blood, you have released. You have sent forth your imprisoned people out of the waterless pits where the enemy has kept your body. They have been released just as Joseph was released from the waterless pits. You are releasing your people from the waterless pits. And we thank you, Father God. We praise you. We thank you, Father God, for your deliverance of your people. And you say to your people, I thank you, that your people are returning to their stronghold, the stronghold of Jesus Christ, the stronghold of faith, the fortress of faith. I thank you that all the prisoners of hope are being released. The, those who have hoped, those who have waited expectantly for you to move, Father, to answer prayers. I thank you for the release of the prisoners of hope from the dry pits. Even today, you I thank you that you declare that you will restore double of the former prosperity of our souls, double. Father, I thank you for the release of the prisoners of hope. Father, each of us have been a prisoner of hope as we have waited expectantly for you in a dry and thirsty land. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you that the waters of the Holy Spirit are flowing. I thank you. 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 I thank you for the destruction of the enemies of our families. I thank you for the destruction of the enemies in the body of Christ. I thank you for the destruction of the enemy. I thank you for the angel armies that have been released. I thank you, Father. I thank you for the eruption, the planned eruption of your glory. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for the validation of your ecclesia. I thank you. I thank you for the validation of your prophets. I thank you, Father. I thank you for the validation. I thank you for the suddenlies. We stand in expectant hope, looking and watching for the suddenlies. And we thank you for the suddenlies. We thank you for the suddenlies. We praise you. We praise you. Anyone else have Thanksgiving? Okay, Janice, go ahead with the praise. Oh, Father, we bless you. <laughs> Almighty God, we honor you. We adore you. Hallelujah. Oh, there is none like you. No one has to compare with you. You are our Jehovah Sikenu, our righteousness, oh Lord. And our justice, mighty God, we bless you. 
And in Psalm 97, we lift up, we lift it up to you, O Lord. The Lord reigns, let the earth rejoice, let the multitude of vials be glad. Clouds and darkness surround you, Lord. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Hallelujah. A fire goes before you and burns up the enemies round about. Your lightnings light the world. The earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like wask yes. at the presence of the Lord, at the presence yes. of the Lord of the whole earth. Hallelujah. The heavens declare your righteousness and all oh. the people see your glory. Hallelujah. Yes. All the peoples shall see your glory, O oh God. The time has come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, mighty God. We bless you. Light is shown for the righteous and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord. We rejoice in the Lord. And we give thanks at the remembrance of your holy name. Hallelujah. Blessed be your holy name. Yes. We thank you, mighty God. We bless you. We give you praise for this new season. You are the one that sets the times and the seasons, the oh Lord. We bless you. We bless you for your hand has Stretch forth over all the nations, over all the earth, Almighty God. We bless you. We bless you to do, to make all things right for your people, like you promised, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. We give you praise. We honor you, O oh Lord. There is none like you. No one has to compare with you, Almighty God. And in Psalms 33, uh, I'll read a few verses of it. It says, it's time to sing and shout for joy. We <laughs> or, or go ahead, all you redeemed ones, do it. Praise him with all yes. with all you have. Praise yes. for praise looks lovely on the lips of God's lovers. Play the guitar as you lift your praises loaded with thanksgiving. Sing and make joyous music with all you've got inside. Compose new melodies that release new praises to the Lord. Play he, play his praises on instruments with the anointing and skill he gives you. Sing and shout with passion. Make a spectacular sound of joy. For God's word, it's something to sing about. He is true to his promises. His word can be trusted and everything he does is reliable and right. The Lord loves seeing justice on the earth. Anywhere and everywhere you can find his faithfulness. On every, and anywhere and everywhere you can find his faithful, his faithful, unfailing love. All he had to do was speak by his spirit wind command and God created the heavenlies filled with galaxies and stars. The vast cosmos he wonderfully made. His voice scooped out the seas, the ocean depths. He poured into vast reservoirs. Now with breathtaking wonder, let everyone worship Yahweh, his awe-inspiring, this awe-inspiring creator. Words he breathed and words are birthed. Let there be and there it was. Springing forth the moment he spoke. No sooner said than done. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. With your breath, oh Lord, you, you scatter the schemes of nations who oppose you. They will never succeed. Your destiny plan for the earth stands sure. Your forever plan remains in place and will never fail. Blessed and prosperous is that nation who has God as their Lord. We will be the, we are the people you have chosen for your own. Hallelujah. We bless you, oh God. We thank you, mighty God, and we bless you. You are the one that gives life, oh Lord. You are the one that brings, do, do, do miracles and signs and wonders, oh God, to confirm your word. Thank you, Lord. We bless you. We give you praise. Hallelujah to your name, the miracle working God, the promise keeper, the covenant making and keeping God. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. Glory to your name. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, you, it is springing forth the new thing you are doing. It is springing forth, Lord. And our eyes shall behold it, oh Lord. And our eyes shall see your great wonders, Lord. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Pramud, we're going to step into the court of decree. And I would like you to decree the Philippians and the Revelations. Get scriptures for decree, okay? be looking for scriptures so we're going to step into the court of decree with all the great cloud of witnesses and the angels all with all the living creatures of heaven we're going to look down on the earth and we're going to decree what the lord would have us to decree pramud yes 
Father God, we declare and decree that Lord, you are the strength. You are sufficient. You, you work in us, O oh Lord. God, who is effectively at work in us, both to will and to work, to strengthen us, energize us, and create in us longing that ability to fulfill your purpose. Lord, you have created everyone with unique calling and blessings. And you have written down the purposes, O oh God. You will help everyone. You will energize everyone. You will give necessary anointing and blessing to fulfill your purposes, O oh Father. For you, we were, we say, Lord, yes, Jesus Christ. We see Jesus Christ. And it is described in this verses, Revelation 19, 11 to 16. And I saw heavens open and behold a white horse and he who was riding, it is called faithful and truth, true. Yahushua Hamashiach is faithful and the truth and righteousness. He judges and wages war. His eyes are a flame of fire on his head are many royal crowns and he has a name inscribed on him which no one knows or understands except himself. He is dressed in a robe dipped in the blood and his name is called the word of God. And the armies of heaven dressed in fine linen, white and clean, followed him on white horses. For his mouth comes the sharp sword with which he makes, may strike down the nations and he will rule them with the rod of iron and he will tread the wine press of the fierce wrath of God. The almighty of the rebellious, the God of all, and on his robe, on his thigh, he, his name is inscribed King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Lord, we, we see the picture and here we see the description about Christ. We adore him, God. And we decree this, that Lord, yes, he is coming. And Lord, before he is coming, you are preparing your people, oh God. You are preparing your people, you are preparing masses from all the earth. In the name of Yehoshua Hamashiach, we have declared. I decree, behold, almighty God has spoken. And he has said, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth suddenly. It has been planned from the beginning. And it shall bring validation to my church, to my ecclesia. It will bring validation to my word. Shall you not for it know it? Peoples of the earth, shall you not know it? Shall you not see the eruption of God's presence? The eruption of his glory, the fire in the cloud, the fire by night and the cloud by day that will rest upon these ecclesias across the world. Shall you not know it? And a road is being made. He is creating a road in the wilderness. And he is, I decree that every obstacle, every stumbling block on these roads, that have been causing his people to stumble, has been causing these people to give up. I say, this road is being made clear, is cleared. This road is smooth. This is a road, the highway of holiness. And on this road, there will not be any wicked or, or wild animals to devour his people. Oh, we thank you that the day of, I decree that the day of Pentecost is coming. This upper room is not just one upper room, but thousands upon thousands upon thousands of upper rooms are erupting throughout the earth. The power of the Holy Spirit, the presence of God, the dunamis power is erupting, is erupting in the upper rooms. And the people, the people shall be transformed 
as they are in the midst of the eruption, they shall be imbued with the dunamis power of Almighty God. They shall walk. My men and women will walk in miraculous. They will walk in the fire. They will walk with the judgment of God in their mouth. They will judge the nations. They will judge the wicked. The judgment of God shall be released upon those that have been operating out of the deep, dark wickedness of the kingdom of hell. Suddenly, suddenly, suddenly shall be the eruption of my glory, the eruption of my goodness, the eruption of my love. Suddenly, suddenly it shall come. And they, the, the boldness, the boldness, the boldness that was on the apostles who had been fearful men before they went into the upper room to wait on the Lord. They should your people will stand in a boldness that terrifies hell. Ooh. We thank you. Instead of shame being upon us, I decree that the shame the enemy has placed upon the prophets and apostles is stripped off this day. I decree the confusion that has been released against the Ecclesia and the body of Christ because of all of the operations of hell in this last season. I decree that it is removed. Now, where did it go? And instead of shame, you shall have double honor. The second time double honor has come up. When the prisoners of hope were released, they were given double honor. Instead of confusion, you shall rejoice in your portion. I release and decree the rejoice, the rejoice, the joy of the Lord be, be upon the people of God, the ecclesia of God, for the joy of the Lord is our strength. We joy, we joy, we rejoice in the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess double. I release the doubling of the doubling of the doubling upon the body of Christ, upon the faithful members of the Ecclesia throughout the world. The doubling of the doubling of the doubling. Everlasting joy will be ours. I release the everlasting joy of the Lord. For the Lord, he loves justice. He loves justice. I decree that Father God, the Lord God Almighty, the just judge of the universe, loves justice and he hates robbery. He hates robbery of the burnt offering. He hates, hates robbery of all the offerings and the prayers that are meant to go up to him. Mm. And he's going to direct. I decree that God is going to direct our work. You're going to direct the ecclesias. You're going to direct the ecclesias. So we walk on what you have planned so that we do the work in truth in alignment with the spirit of truth. And you're gonna make us an everlasting covenant that the nations can see the covenant, the everlasting covenant that is upon God's people. Amen, amen, amen. Jessa, will you pray that? And then Rita, will you pray what you have? Oh Lord, we come to you this morning with great expectation. Lord, it's been a heavy and a dark season. But we lay claim to your word. We recount your word to you. We decree this word out of your word, Lord. Precious Lord, we decree that there is hope. There is abiding hope. 
because you are the God of hope. And your hope fills us with all joy and peace as we believe you, as we stand firm in what you have said, Lord, because your, vo your word will not return void to you without accomplishing that for which you sent it. And so, Lord, we stand believing and we expect that we are going to abound in hope <laughs> by the power of your Holy Spirit alive in us. Lord, thank you for the hope that you are, are bubbling up inside of us today through Amen. your Holy Spirit. Amen. We thank give you. you praise. We give you glory. We look to see more and more of your glory. Glory upon glory upon glory in this time, Lord. Amen. In this new era Amen. of surprise and suddenlies. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Rita. Father, we decree that you reign. Let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of isles and coastlands be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about you as at Sinai. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Fire goes out before you and burns up your adversaries round about. Your lightnings illumine the world. The earth sees and trembles. The hills melted like wax at the presence of you, Lord God, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness and all the people see his glory. Amen and amen. And I keep seeing the words as we're declaring them. They're falling to earth and God is bringing them to fruition. Amen. Amen. Oh, I thank you, Father God. I see that as your presence causes the mountains of hell to melt. The mountains that are in people's lives to melt. Like wax, we praise you and we bless you for that, Lord. We thank you, we glorify you in that. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Angela, your hand is up. Hallelujah. I decree and declare, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you, my ecclesia, and his glory will be seen upon you. The Gentiles should come to your light and king to the brightness of your rising. For you will sh be seen as my lights, as my stars. For I will glow my beauty of who I am through you. My light has risen. <laughs> yes, this will be a suddenly us suddenly this is something i have planned before the creation of the world i have planned this for you and mine for each one of you on this line amen amen i i read this this morning and i wanted to create it now I decree to the earth, I see, seek Yahweh when he makes himself approachable. And with the outpouring of this glory and the presence and the explosive power of Almighty God, he is approachable. Call upon him when you sense that he's near. The wicked, abandon your sinful ways. The sinful ones need to banish every evil thought. Let them return to Yahweh that they may experience his compassionate mercy. Yes, let them return to God, for he will lavish forgiveness on them. Oh, lavish forgiveness is being released to the nations of the earth. For my thoughts about mercy are not like your thoughts, and my ways are different from your ways. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so are my ways and my thoughts are higher than you. 
as the snow and the rain that falls from heaven. Do not return until they have accomplished their purpose, soaking the earth and causing it to sprout with new life. So also will be the word that I speak, the word that you have spoken through Tim Sheets, the word that is being repeated all over the world as people listen and believe and respond with a shout of yes. It does not return to me unfulfilled. My word performs my purpose and fulfills the mission I sent it to accomplish. Oh, Father God, it's a mission. You're sending out a mission of angels. You've got a mission. You've got a mission for the earth. You have a planned mission for the eruption of your glory, dunamis power out of these volcanoes in the earth. It is your mission and it shall be accomplished and it shall be fulfilled. For you will leave your exile with joy and you will be led wrapped in peace, home wrapped in peace. And the mountains and the hills in front of you burst into singing and the trees of the field will applause and clap their hands. And the cypress trees will flourish where there were only thorns and myrtle trees instead of nettles. The thorns and the nettles are signs of curse. We thank you that the curse that is upon the earth that this is describing, it's saying the curse has been removed. These will stand as a testimony, always renowned, everlasting signs that will not be cut off. I decree that those, those who have understanding and teachers of understanding, you said they're going to shine like stars in the firmament. We thank you for all the stars being released in your glory. And those stars have to have a power core. They have to have a core of erupting power. Stars are just lava fields of power. <laughs> and they erupt. They erupt, and I thank you that every star, I decree, every star is erupting. Holy Jesus. Holy Jesus. Holy Jesus. Lisa, will you do that strengthen? So Father, we just come before you, and we decree and declare that you have the plan to strengthen all the weak hands and to confirm every feeble knee. Amen. Say to them that they, those that have a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. Oh, God. <laughs> we thank you, God, for the validation of your word. Amen. Even God with the recompense. We thank you, God. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. And we bless you for this, God. Amen. Then shall the lame man leap <laughs> as a heart, and the tongue of the dumb shall sing, for in the wilderness shall waters break out and streams in the desert. We thank you, God. And the parched ground shall become a pool, and the thirsty land springs of water, in the habitation of dragons where each lay shall be grass with reeds and rushes. And a highway shall be there at a way and it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for those, the wayfaring men and women, though, though fools shall not err therein. No lion shall be there, nor any ravenous beast shall go up thereon. It shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there and the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. And we bless you for that, God. Okay, Gloria. Uh, Lord. We have waited, Lord. Your people have waited, have waited, have waited 
for this coming outpouring of your Holy Spirit. Lord, we have known because you have told us in your word, you have told us through your prophets, you have told us personally that this time would come. But we just want to praise and thank you that we've lived long enough. Lord, I want to thank you that I've lived long enough that I can be here and experience your glory throughout the whole earth. Lord, it really will. You really will fill our mouths with laughter. We are just going to laugh with joy. And just looking around and just looking around and, and seeing what you are doing, setting the captives free, people who are captive to the lies and deceptions and errors and, and evils, Lord, of, of the other of the adversary's kingdom. Lord, you are our mighty champion. When you get moving. Lord, there is no defeat. You, you are the one who overcomes everything that the enemy puts up. Yeah. Lord, praise God. We, Lord, we're already laughing. Just the thought of it brings so much joy to us that you have heard and are going to answer. And we're even going to see and experience the answers to the prayers, Lord, that we have prayed together and we have prayed individually and we have prayed with other groups and that the saints all over the world have prayed. You are getting ready to bear your strong right arm. Yes. Lord, we are we are rejoicing. We are rejoicing. We thank you, Lord, that you called us by name. We thank you that you transferred us out of the kingdom of darkness and into the kingdom of the son of your love. Amen. Oh, not because of anything we ever did, but because of your goodness. And Lord, you know we can't wait to see you harvest all those around the world who have never known what we have known. Oh, we praise you, we bless you, we thank you, and we really do rejoice in you. Lord, I can't remember that scripture or the word in scripture that describes joy that causes you to spin around, to just spin around with joy lord that's the way we're feeling in our spirits and in our souls lord we can we are so full of the joy of hearing you reassure us with your words lord that it just causes us to just spin around with joy Amen. we bless and thank you lord Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Thank you, Lord. As Gloria spoke, I was reminded of Simeon and Anna. Mm. And what it said of Simeon, he was a very good man. And Father, I release a blessing. I decree a blessing upon all the very good men and women, lovers of God, who have kept themselves pure and the spirit of holiness rests upon them and had been believing, had been believing for the refreshing of the body of Christ. And he said, this is what Simeon said, and I say it now. Lord and master, I am your loving servant. And now I can die content. For your promise to me has been fulfilled. With my own eyes, I have seen your word, the Savior, your word, the promised outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon the entire earth. You are the glory of your people and the revelation of light for all people everywhere. And then it spoke of Anna, who was an aged widow 
was only married to her husband for seven years. And for 84 years, she prayed and fasted in the temple. 84 plus seven puts us at 91. And she was married. And probably was married at 15, maybe. She was in her hundreds. And she continually been serving God night and day, prayer and fasting. And when Anna, when Mary and Joseph and the baby, Anna walked up to them and break, broke forth a great chorus of praise to the God. And from that day forward, she told everyone in Jerusalem who is waiting for their redemption that the anticipated Messiah has come. Father, I decree that all of your ecclesia will release to everyone they meet the word that your anticipated outpouring of the glory, the planned, sudden, val val validating, outpouring of the Holy Spirit with miraculous power in the presence of God is here. It is here. It is here. It is now. And as I prayed, as I saw those words, I've been asking the Lord, why is my mother tarrying at 99? And I saw that this was God's grace to her that she would be on the earth when it happened. And I praise you. I decree that all of those Simeons and Annas will see it. They will recognize it and they will know it and they will spin with joy. And when they see it, they will know, ah, now I can go to glory. Now I can, I can freely leave because I know my assignment has been accomplished. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord. Um, Janice, I know you have a lot more. We've got a lot to do in the room of, in the, in the court of decree. But I think today has been primarily personal and the joy and the restoration. So let's do communion. Let's step, step out of the room of decree and we'll step into the room of covenant. Janelle, I would like you to do the broken body. Nancy, I would like you to do the cup. Janelle, you need to unmute. She probably has to go out and come in again. She sometimes has trouble. This is how the body is going to become one. <clears throat> Janelle? I'll start it. I was just undone when I picked up the... Oh, there you are, Janelle. Go ahead. Yeah, I did have to go out. Thank you. For that. Father, here is the bread, the broken body of Christ. If we did not have this bread to ingest, we could not have any part of you. But we do have, because you and your grace said, I will send my son. He will give his life for you. And so we praise you. We bow low before you, Lord. And we honor you for the broken body that you've given to us. And as we take it within today, we say that the same life that raised you from the dead, Jesus, is alive in our mortal bodies. It's not just our spirit and our soul. It's in our mortal bodies. It's bringing life where there was death. It's bringing wholeness where there was fracturedness. It's bringing the blood atonement where there was sin. And we have nothing to do but to praise you. And yes, we see you spinning over us, according to Zephaniah 3.17. You spin over us with a wild joy. And when <laughs> others see that spinning, they will start laughing and think, who is this God? 
that is spinning over these funny people that we thought were radical. Oh, but Lord, it will be our joy. And keep us in humility, Lord. I'm going to be tempted to say, see, I told you so. In a wrong spirit. Oh, Father, please keep us hidden in your humility. Now, as we take this bread, we ingest into ourselves the very life of God through Yeshua HaMashiach. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us eat. I am chewing. Father God, we come grateful hearts, praising Yeshua, thanking you for the covenant. We come bonded together as Grace Corps. But as I said here, Lord, Lord, how do you want me to pray today, Lord? I knew that it was communion for us. Your DNA, your transforming body, we thank you for it. We receive it into our bodies, but we choose as an act of will today to receive it for our families, yes. for mm -hmm. the body of Christ, yes. for the sheep that we've been praying for, Lord. Those that don't yet have the revelation of taking your body on a daily basis that would think, well, that's strange. Why should I be doing that? With the understanding of the DNA of the life breath, of the third strand of DNA that was in Adam that is now in us, that as we take it, we receive it, we are transformed, we are transfigured, the glory that is coming upon us, so we take it willingly, joyfully, eagerly, happily, together, Lord God, as a group, even as if in the spirit we were standing together in a group, holding each other's mm. hands and hearts, worshiping and praising you father for this blood that has brought us as one mm. to be a part of this day and hour so we thank you for this blood we thank you we take this cup of suffering yes, that Lord. is releasing healing into our bodies that the suffering of jesus we receive but the suffering of the devil we say get out we close the door yes. the day is over we take your cup and we choose to walk into the frequency of your blood and your health and your healing and your anointing and your life and yes, your Lord. dunamis power of these volcanoes we walk into it gratefully eagerly happily joyfully in jesus name we receive together amen we receive the fire of your presence Father, we ask that every word that was spoken today be sealed for time and eternity. We ask that these words be recorded in the books of heaven. We ask that the angel armies be released on our behalf so that we see the blessing of the Lord that makes us rich with every spiritual gift in heavenly places that is legally ours by right of our eternal covenant with Almighty God. We seal this work in the blood of the Lamb by the power of the Holy Spirit and by the word of God. We declare according to Isaiah 55, 11, that every word in agreement with the will of the Father shall not return to him <coughs> without accomplishing what he desires and without yeah. succeeding in the matter for which it was sent. We declare that the Holy Spirit, breath, is Zoe life is upon this, these prayers. We declare that the enemy shall not release against our lives or our families any curses, counter curses, strategies, or retaliations against our health marriages, children, grandchildren, finances, ministries, businesses, properties, destiny, or well-being in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Amen. Oh, my, 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 Jesus. Oh, my, oh my, my. Um, share Tim Sheets' message. Yes. It's what a difference a day makes is what it's called. I'll share it. Um, I have to run. Um, Dan can stay and you can talk. I'll stop the recording. <laughs>